Oh, do listen to welcome back to the Auction Blazeman here, and today I wanted to do a, a different video for you. Um, it's going to be of, say, an everyday normal person EDC. A lot of my previous EDCs have been very tactical related with tactical knives, uh, pouches, stuff like that. But I wanted to go through to you what would be a very standard, a very uh, UK friendly, and a very everyday carry grey man sort of EDC style that I have come up with with what I have and yeah so that's the, this is the video for today so it's a grey man EDC let's get into the video so it's important to carry to wear a jacket to carry everything in because if you didn't all your pockets would be filled to the brim and you don't want that so what I wear today this is my jacket of choice this is the Aston, Hackett Aston Martin engineered STR limited edition Le Mans jacket you can find this online for £350 or if you go to an outlet centre £250 uh, the prices vary, you can find one cheaper at uh, second hand the reason why I like this jacket is it's lightweight, it's shower proof you've got two zips here so you can wear it when it's warm, you can wear it when it's cool and just you know, it's a very lightweight jacket and it's shower proof, so that's a good feature about it and it's also it's very stylish, it's a very smart jacket you have quite a few compartments, you have a top pocket up here which I like to use to carry some of my sunglasses in or some other features. You've got two side pockets down here where your standard ones are, so you can put my hands in. And inside you have one um, pocket here as well. This is a very lightweight jacket, which is very comfortable and very use good to wear and useful to carry everything in a normal, everyday, non tactical EDC. So let's get on with the most important item on the list and that is the phone. This is just a standard iPhone 6S 64 gig. This is the one with the three the six has a 3D touch. This is in the um silver. Just a a nice solid phone to have when um it's not really expensive now, it's stylish. You don't pay crazy money for it, and 64 gig I can carry everything on it, and it's. I don't think you can beat an iPhone. Before I had an LG, but I'm really liking the iPhone 6s. It's even though you've got the 7 and the 8 and the X, which are all really good phones. There's too pricey, and this is a great phone just to have as a bog standard phone to carry around with. The second most important thing to have along with your phone is the case. This is the J. Lua carbon fiber lined TPU silicone flexible case. You can find this for around about twenty pounds on Amazon, but it was reduced to five pounds. So no price is twenty. This case is great. It's stylish. You've got a nice grip to it. It keeps the phone nice and slim. It's nice and flexible, and you know it gives. Reasonable protection for your phone, unfortunately it won't protect the screen but when you're going to drop it or anything like that it will provide good protection for your phone it's stylish, it keeps the phone slim and light and it just looks really really nice Let's talk about power packs Power packs are very important to keep your phone um, and all your other devices charged so when you're out and about you don't have to worry about running flat and then having a bit of a problem with you. So, I carry two power packs around with me at different times. This is the Kit S4 4000 milliamp uh, battery pack. You can pick these up between 11 to 10, 20 pounds. This will provide one uh, guaranteed full charge of an iPhone 6 and maybe one and a half, depending how um, far, how, you know, how long you charge it for. To charge this bad boy all the way to the top, it will take you around about 40 minutes, 40 to, 40 to an hour, it varies, um, depending on how fast your charging cable is, if you've got a lightning charger, uh, or what type of plug you're using, if it's just all vary. So I would say it takes about 40 minutes to an hour to charge this S4 up. This is great, just to throw in for a day, throw in your pocket and you're not worried about your phone running off the battery so this is a good everyday one day out battery pack to have next if you're looking for something more substantial something if you're going away for a few days 
and you use your phone all the time and you're using a load of devices your camera your eye your cam the camera ipad whatever this might be for you this is the power ad x7 pilot 20,000 milliamp portable charger what we have here we have in the red and black this is you'll see a theme going on here we've had a black case you've Kind of black silver phone, you've got two black power packs. So it's going for a more classic, fresh style look. So we have two chargeable ports here, so you can charge two, two devices at once. We also have, very fortunately, a torch, just you know, why not, just in case you need one. It's a very bright torch, you can see it now in the sunlight. I don't know how many lumens it is. You can pick one of these bad boys up for £20 on Amazon. But it may be more that wasn't a promotional deal, so I don't know. This will give you six full charges on the iPhone 6S, three on a iPad a Mini, and about five on a Samsung S7, I think. So for twenty pounds, this is a great bang for your but great budget power pack. It takes about an an hour, half, an hour and a half to two hours to fully charge this thing, but it lasts forever and it's worth it. So it's good. If you're a week away, a few days away, um, say you've gone down to London or you've gone abroad for a few days a week, and this is a great thing to use. Along with the power pack, so you're going to need something to charge your phone up with. It's no good just having a battery pack. Here we have a charger cable. This is the Anker 6 foot braided um, iPhone lightning charger. This is, as I said, this is the lightning one, so it will charge up your phone even quicker, it sends more electricity and more volts down into your phone to charge it quicker which is a good thing to have if your phone has a lightning adapter to it so the reason why I like this is great value for money, you got it for £7 on Amazon on offer it's a very nice braided cord, and, you know, won't get tangled flexible and six foot, it's really nice to have because you you know, if you if the port is a long way from your bed or your chair you want something long enough to carry Maybe too long to have on a um, portable charger in your pocket on the side. So that's why I always carry a smaller one. This is this box standard cheaper one. Um, just for the smaller ones. If I just want it in my pocket to charge a long way. If not, no problem. Just shove it in your backpack and it'll be reet. So, important cable. So setting it, it's £7 and it's from Anchor. So you know it is a good quality Cable. Keeping on the theme of electronics, it's always important to listen to music, which I, I always think it is. It's always good to have a bit of music with you. So, in this case, we have the Bow Sound Sport Bluetooth earphones. These are great quality earphones, they will cost you around about £130. You have a very short cord, the hooks of the earbuds keep them securely in your ears, they're stylish. You have the Control panel thing here where you can turn up your volume, change the song, pause it, you can ex accept and speak through calls in here. This will give you around about um, two to three hours, sorry, about, it is about two hours of um, music uh, durability capability. So that's really good. So it's a long car journey, uh, it's fine, two hours, and you can listen to music all day long. It comes in the Bose portable charging case which will cut co which costs you about 40 pounds so in all together if you're looking for the combo you're spending looking at 170 pounds altogether for just these two items which is worth it if you're looking for great music sound quality and a way of charging them on the go without taking a big massive power pack also it's results as a case so you can just throw it in your bag and you know they're protected and you can also charge them as well which is always a plus. This just takes a standard Android charging cable and this will last take, takes around about oh a good hour to charge and it will last a long time to charge up those. So great quality, great style and again going with a nice black finish which is smarter and fresh. So those are about my music, my earphones and the charging case for them. Let's talk about blades. Always good for them to talk about. I have two knives here. These are always in my pocket and they're going for the UK legal thing. And because this is a everyday man carry, 
These are very simple, non-tactical knives that you can find them at and are UK legal to carry, so you don't need to worry about the police confiscating them off you. So let's start with this one here. This is a nice cell slip joint, clip point, black plastic handles, a very nice knife. It's very small, under a 3 inch blade, about 2.5 inch blade. Just very slim bind, very light, elegant in the hand, elegant in the pocket, won't get in your way, won't scratch anything up because it's the plastic. This is an excellent small knife to have in your pocket to do with everyday tasks. It's inexpensive, about 18 euros. Uh, I don't know how hard it is to get them in the UK. Got this in Portugal because I just like the look at it. It was really cheap, elegant and nice to have in the pocket. So that's one of them. This is the Icel. Canavante doesn't really have a name to it, she was 18 euros and I bought it because it looked cool and it looked smart. So that's one of the knives I carry with me all the time. Another knife I carry with me all the time is the Victorlux Pioneer in the a -Lock scale. So why I carry two knives from my house? Because that's great, but once if you need some other tools. So this is my multi-tool. I don't carry a Leatherman, I haven't got one. I don't carry a Gerber, I don't have one. So I carry around a Swiss Army knife because why waste all that money on plies when I don't really need them. So, this will take you, cost you about £30. Again, you have your main blade, which is less than 3 inches. You have a bottle opener and screwdri screwdriver, wire bend and stripper, or you could have a bottle opener on you because for the beer. And you've got a can opener, classic Victorlock style. And then you have your reamer here. Don't know even that's what that's for. But because, like a normal something like the reamers here, it's the very thin two pillar construction and look how thin it is. That's excellent in the pocket. If I compare that to my phone, you know, it's just a bit bigger. So it's perfect really to carry along with you for time. So these are my two blades that I will carry with me every day. Discreet, stylish, and mo most importantly, affordable for you. When I said I wasn't going to that school, I lied. This is the Boca Plus 50 Cal KID. Pen, bolt action pen. Why I've chosen this instead of some normal pens? Well, because of the size capability, the style of it, the functions of it, and because every other smart knife I have is too big, too thick, and I don't want it in my pocket. Reasonable explanation for you. So, going a bit tactical. Only tactical thing I have in my whole EDC, well, everyday EDC. As I said, this is the Boca Plus 50 Cal KID bolt action pen. We have a gun grey finish that fits in the colour scheme. It is smaller than my phone. It is smaller than my battery charger. It's just a bit taller than my knife. And it's a bit taller than my other knife. So, it's a very small thing to have in your pocket. And everyone needs a pen. So, what we have here? We have ring metal here as you grip which is comfortable it's small it's comfortable in the hand it is a bit heavy though because it's that metal aluminium but um hey ho the bolt action function is great it's a fun thing to play with you can play with it all day long and it's just quite cool to have simple construction you don't need the spring that comes on down pull this out you've got a refillable cartridge in here and in that hole you can store drugs in there if you're going to Colombia I lie, don't do that, you get arrested. Um, but it's a very cool pen to have, very small, very compact. Clip is sturdy, it's not going to go anywhere. If it does loosen up, you can tighten the tilt, which is a great thing to have. And trying to break that would be very hard compared to your zebras and compared to your other ink pens. This is the standard biro. Writes well, nice and easy flow. And I like it a lot. So that's the Boca Plus 50 cal pen. This will cost you about £40 in Heine Haynes. If you buy it anywhere else, I can't help you. Let's talk about keys. Ta -da. So, keys. Important thing to have for any person really because how else you're going to get into your house. So, I have my key. Brass key. Great key. A bit of paracord in there. Just for style and so I can easily pull them out of pocket. I have this tube, and this tube currently is nothing, but it's waterproof. I always keep um, ibuprofen or paracetamol on here just in case I get a headache or someone I know gets a headache. Always good to have, instead of me going to the shop wasting money, I can have it on me. 
Now this, this is just a start. This is a Biffa Bacon enamel keychain. If you don't know who Biffa Bacon is, read Viz. A funny adult comic which is always good to have. I forgot to mention, on the ibuprofen waterproof container, it comes off. So I need to bother faffing around, unscrewing it, I can just take it off away from the heavy keys. Good thing to have. Next, another most impossible, I think more important than ibuprofen or paracetamol, a bottle opener. Why? For beer. In Yorkshire, beer is life. So, it's a fact. We have the best beer up here, as we are, everyone knows. Another stylish thing I have is just this Portugal rugby thing bowl. I like it, went to Portugal, bought it. Just for my keys, when I first got my keychain. Secondly, just another key. I'm not telling you what that's for. And then, another knife. Contrasting colour, it's blue compared to my phone, but there's another bit torn up, so it's great. This is the SD Classic. Classic because it got everything you need on it. Scissors, small knife, nail file, for when you get broke, uh, when you break your nails. Nail goes when you chip them and you a bit pulls off because you're doing manual work and you're not painting your nails because you're men. So, and it comes with your standard toothpick and tweezers and a bit of branding now. King Jong chains. Um, so yeah, that's the keys. That will cost you around about 15 quid. That cost me 5 euros. That was free. That was free. About 2 quid. Nothing. Nothing. So, about 20 quid worth of stuff in there. Good. Wallet. This is the classic Osprey London blue leather wallet. This will set you back around about £75. For a good quality wallet, that's not bad. But there's more than in here than just money. Open it up. We have four card holders here on either side. We've got one big compartment there, one big co compartment here. We'll go back to that later. We've got two compartments here. What I normally do is keep sterling here and then other currencies here, so euros when I go abroad. Useful to use it, so it separates them up. Sometimes people might put 20s in here, 10s and 5s in here. That's what I do, but I've had euros in here and I've just taken them out, so that's why they're all together. What do you think of these plastic notes? People in the UK, let me know. So, in here, that was £75. This is the Victorinox, another knife I carry. This is the Victorinox um, Swiss card. Why I've got the Swiss card with me, as well as an SD Classic, and as well as two other knives. Might not carry these all the time, so if I don't want to carry this because it, it is heavy and I've got my ISL, I always have this in my wallet. A Swiss card is just a Swiss Army knife in a wallet. In the a Swiss card is just a Swiss Army knife in a car formation, just about the size of two credit cards. Comes with your knife, scissors, um, nail file, pen, pin tweezers, ruler, centimetres and inches. Um, is this legal? So I can rock. I don't know. I think it is because it's less than three inches but you can count this as a locking blade and this is the sheath. So don't make it known that you have one of these well to the police officer because he might take it off you and you don't want to because that's a waste of 20 pounds there, 25 pounds. And that's a lot of money. I don't want to lose this. This comes in red, black or blue. I went to the blue to match with the wallet. So, that is the wallet. And finally, just another thing I carry on me is on your wrist. First of all, I have a little bracelet, and second of all, I have my watch. This is the watch I normally wear every day. So, before getting to watch, just going to this is a standard leather bracelet. Um, I like it because it looks cool. This is from Italy, from Rome. My mate gave it to me because he found it in his pocket and he didn't want it anymore. I think it was from his ex, and he never wears them, so he's like, Do you want it? So, yeah. So, that's free. I guess around about 5-6 euros for that. Next is my timepiece, the watch, this is a, a standard guess watch, waterproof, quartz, about 10 bar, steel class which is nice and smart, about 33, no it's 32mm, whatever, it's a 43mm, the one below it, 32 I think it is. So, small watch, very nice, it's got the days on it, like you can tell it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and the um, what date it is, unlike um, other watches like say my Invicta where it has the date just there it's just a ring and it points to the arrow and it goes up to 31 so the only problem with that is when it changed months so it's like February when it has 28 days it still thinks it will be February but when it's April 
March through March, so that bug is obviously got to change it. But no, unfortunately, it doesn't have a stopwatch on it, which is a bit annoying. But you got a phone for that. This would set you back. I don't know. I'm guessing ninety to one hundred pounds, because. I got it for birthday present, I don't know how much it is, and I can't find it again. So, yeah. Move out of the way. So let's just go into a uh, bird's eye view of everything. Actually, I lied again. I forgot my sunglasses. Always carry these on me, just a pair of sunglasses and a, it's a hack it, in a nice protective case. Just a standard pair of tortoise shell, I don't know what you call these, they're not aviators. Just um, sunglasses from Hackett. They are category 3 protection. Uh, Hackett London Bespoke. Uh, these will cost you around about eighty pounds. I reckon I, they don't make them anymore, so you probably find them cheaper. They cost me eighty quid when I first got them. Carry them on me because it's always nice to have a pair of sunglasses with you, protect your eyes, and they're a stylish thing to have. Case is good quality. It comes with its own felt lined, whatever it is, and you got your rag there just to clean your glasses. So yeah, always good to have a pair of sunglasses with you. It costs you eighty pounds. And I think it's important not to go out cheap with sunglasses. I think you need to buy a great, a good, decent quality pair because otherwise they're going to break, fall apart, and that's a waste of money. So these are the Hackett Bespoke sunglasses. Now we can go for the overview. So this has been my very compact, everyday carry, um, Grayman. And this is for people who just go to work, people who go to university, college, whatever. This is for a bog standard person, everyday guy, who's not into tactical things, um, who's not a big survival pre preparing guy. This is just a standard thing, reasonably inexpensive. I'll do a grand total, um, which I'll put up here. Um, I don't see things that expensive. I think the items here, you get if you get them on offer, it seriously reduces that price, and some of the items that are expensive here are worth it. Um, I'm not going to include a jacket in the price uh, description because you can find alternative jackets like I've got a loot jacket which I like which is really, really inexpensive. So thank you guys for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like. If you've got anything else you would like me to review or anything else I can use to improve it, let me know down in the comments below. I'd like to hear your thoughts. So thank you guys for watching and I shall see you next time.